It's amazing, a thin little piece of plastic and how gorgeous it can look. You might be surprised to know I made that with hybrid gel and a couple of other little things. It's actually really cool how I made it. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna cut my piece of saran. I do kinda wanna do that ahead of time because you don't wanna do it when your hands are all full of product, especially if it's sticky. I'm just cutting a big square, quite a bit bigger than the actual nail, just so you have some room to scrunch it up. Because you do want it to scrunch up, okay? And I just put it aside there. Just remember where you put it, because it's kind of hard to see sometimes, because it's see-through. Okay, so I prepped my nail, and I'm going to use... Now, I need a bonder between the product and my natural nail. And in my Easy Gel kit, which is a hyper gel, I have Bridge. Now bridge makes it stick. I called it bridge because I'm bridging the gap between your natural nail and the product you're trying to stick to. Okay, so I'm gonna get a tube here and let's work. So I know I've got a steady surface. Okay, and when you apply it, you just wanna put it on in circles, kind of just massage it in so it really gets in there and not very thick coat. And I'm going to nuke that. And I want to put a format because I'm going to make these long, you guessed it. And I'm doing that because I really want to see the beautiful art that we're going to create. This is really cool design because the saran wrap is actually going to make the random design. Okay, so we're gonna use white now. You can use any color you want. I actually played with a lot of different colors and so many combinations looked absolutely beautiful. But I ultimately kind of wanted to go with kind of a champagne, antique kind of look. So I decided to go with this kind of, well, you saw it in the photo, just really, very cool shade. Very subtle, yet really strong in its aesthetic value. I really, really like it. I am gonna put white underneath to make that color really bounce off of. So, and I'm gonna do a full nail right now. So I'm gonna grab some of the, I called it um, French and ombre white because it makes a beautiful French and ombre, but looks good with this too. So I'm going to pop that out there and I'm going to build the whole nail with this thick. Usually I'm always about thin aren't I? But this is going to be thicker and you'll see why. Now I'm going to carefully place it around my cuticle and the side walls just to make sure it is there. So if I don't pay attention to that now it'll be too late to do it later so I've got to make sure that it's in place then I can go thick everywhere else. And the reason why I designed these forms a little bit thicker was for products like the hybrid gels. Hybrid gel is that combination between um, acrylic and gel. You get that nice pasty texture and it doesn't cure as you're working with it like acrylic, but it cures under the light like gel. So it makes it quite a bit easier to work with if you're learning how to do nails or even if you just don't want to take the time to learn the sculpting gel and or the acrylic and you'll see its beauty in a minute here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go long and square. I even wanna go thicker than this. I'm gonna do it the first layer, get my shape, lay down the foundation, and then I'll do another. So I'm just making sure that it's symmetrical and I often turn it over like this because this is the view that I will normally do, especially when I'm doing a client, right? And when you do yourself, you kind of do want to pop it over on an angle like this, just to make sure that you're getting everything symmetrical. Okay, so I do have it exactly where I want it to be. So I've got the nice arch that I want, and it's thicker, especially near the cuticle, because when I put that saran wrap on, it's going to make a difference. But I think I want it a little bit thicker in, in through the body. So I'm going to grab... 
a little bit more white. Now I don't want to cure it. The reason being is because I need to dent it with saran wrap. So it is a little testy sometimes when you're putting on product that is already there, but I do want to add a little bit more. Oh, it's going to work for us. Look at that. It worked. Okay, so I'm just adding that thickness in here because once again, that is part of the design. Now this doesn't have to be uniform so much and I was just making sure that I had that there being the foundation and the, the apex and all that stuff. But it doesn't have to be smooth at this point because we are going to muck it up. I'm going to put a little bit more right in there. Making sure all my pieces are there. Yep, that's, uh, you can see how lumpy and bumpy and icky that is. That's okay. Let's lay that piece of saran wrap right on top and don't stretch it across. Let it bunch up. Like, get it, like, bunchy. Like, don't make it flat. We don't mind it to be bunchy. Okay. And then you want to go in with something pointy. I'm just going to use my scissors in this case. Now remember how thick it was near the cuticle? That's to give me some bunchy room. I want that. That's good. The one thing that's nice about doing it with a hybrid gel, doing this particular method with a hybrid gel, is gel can self-level. But this stuff doesn't. So when you poke it and you make a design, it'll stay. And acrylic, you have to hurry. This, you don't have to hurry. That's what's kind of cool about it. Okay, that looks bunchy enough. Okay, so I am actually going to cure that. Okay. Okay, this is the fun part. And you just inch the saran wrap right off. It should come off quite easy. You can save that piece for the next one if you want. And then you've left with this kind of weird, oh, let me see if I can take the form off so you can maybe even see it a little bit better. Right? Now you're really gonna see the edges. That's what I love about nail technicians, that we learn how to <laughs> undo our nail polish with one hand. Okay, here we go. We're going to put the alcohol ink in the little crusty bits. Now you do want this for the design because it'll outline the glitter and really give it definition. It looks pretty without it, but it's a completely different look. So can you see how, <laughs> oh, look at that, eh? <laughs> looks like the surface of the moon. Very cool. Oh, I missed a whole side. See how I missed that side? Look at that. Isn't that neat? Okay. Okay, so then I found this beautiful color. Wait till you see the inside of it. Look at this. I mean, I've had this for a while. I've used it a few times. I absolutely love it. That is really nice. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you don't have to be a nail technician, cameraman, do you, to appreciate the no, color? Oh, it's great. And honestly, this is nothing. Wait till you see it on there. Super pretty. And I should tell you, this is um, an alcohol ink by Joya Mia, and this is Light Elegance, this glitter. Okay, let me get me gel brush. You know what? It, this kind of looks cool like that. Is it just me, or am I just getting weird? Oh, it's neat. It does look neat, doesn't it? Looks like Gene Simmons' boots. Oh, goodness. Back to that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really cool. If you did it like with metallic color, like metal, it would look even cooler, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, that'd be cool too. I like it. Endless choices. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to scoop up this beautiful color. And I'm going to stick that glitter in those. Well, I'm going to cover it all over. And it's going to settle in a lot of those pockets. So I'm just going to make sure it gets into the crevices there. 
into little nooks and crannies. Just gonna load it up. things you know once you after you do it if you didn't do enough you're gonna regret it but if I do too much now it's okay because we'll just file it out it's just going to be left with the pockets the where the nooks and crannies the glitter is going to settle along with that alcohol ink now I'll just check and make sure that it's all in there everywhere Just a tad in this cuticle spot right here. Okay. Wow, does that glisten? Yeah, but it looks like a mess. Look at that. <laughs> it's I'd a wear beautiful it. mess. This looks ridiculous. There's no shape in there. It looks dreadful. But we're going to cure it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a mask because whenever I'm filing, it's a good idea to wear a mask. You don't wanna suck in all that product dust, right? Most of it falls, especially when you're working with acrylic, but when you're working with gel in particular, like builder gel, and I don't, I think this stuff is a little bit heavier too, so it falls, but you know what? For the fine little, little bits, wear a mask. Okay, not that we're not used to those now, right now, eh? It was harder for people to get used to them, but once you get used to them, I had a tough time when I first started doing it, but if you want something bad enough. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to file it. This is where the magic happens during the filing process. Now we are taking quite a bit off, so depending on the drill that you have, you can turn it up. And as long as you're comfortable with a higher speed e-file, Oh goodness, look at that thing. That looks dreadful. Okay, let's go near the cuticle. And we're just gonna start taking it down. Of course, we'll bring this side up a little bit. We just start shaping it like we normally would. And we just start filing it down and start sculpting that nail in there that you know is in there that you're trying to sculpt it out. And then your design will just start to appear. Oh yeah, the end of the day when I finish a day full of clients, I used to call it the ski drift back there. <laughs> we had, so, think about that. I mean, it, see, see how heavy it is? It's falling. But there are little tiny bits that you will, and the only reason why I know that is because you can, we used to have these lights over top of our desks and the light would be covered. But yeah, it can really gather a lot of, this is one nail, <laughs> can you imagine? After you finish a set of nails that you've got a lot on the floor. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now I'm gonna find my shape. And I'm gonna use, where's the hand file? Make sure I'm nice and square. I don't do square very often, so it's kind of nice to do that. Make sure I hit it underneath. And then I am going to get my, I call it the trimmer. And that is a very delicate bit that can go around the cuticle and get in between giving you that cuticle separation that you really want. This look cuticle separation really makes your nail look professional. And again, if you're not 100% comfortable with your e-file, work at it slower, lower, like under 10,000 RPMs. And the more you get used to it, the faster you can go. And all I'm doing is just 
finding that space, that hairline space between the cuticle and the fake stuff. And I'm just making it nice and low. Here's my cuticle and the fake stuff is not going to be even, it's going down. <laughs> so you can get that beautiful cuticle separation, again, making it look professional. That look on its own will separate the professionals from the non-professionals. It just takes it a step up. Okay. Okay, that's looking really good. Okay, so one thing I do find, if you get the look that you think you want here, <laughs> you can leave it. But if you find that you want a bit more of the look to change, like not as much of the design and more of the white or the base color that you've used to shine through, you just keep filing a little bit more and the high points will go away and meet those lower points and you'll end up with more of the white coming through. But I am kind of liking this. I'm just going to just take a look before I top coat it. I'm just going to look at it and see exactly if I'm happy with that look. I'm just going to check my thickness. So the shape is really good. I could, I could make it thinner on this side right here, maybe revealing a little bit more white. I'll try it. Just depends on how thick and thin you made it, right? If you have that room. If you go too much, you might file through and make your nail way too thin on the one side. Just depends if you've got that room there. I'm going to file a little bit on this side and see if I can... Oh yeah, see the whites come... Oh, I, oh, I like that. Oh yeah, yeah. But I can't go too far. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my structure and I don't want to lose the structure. So the only thing you could do, if you're filing and you figure you want more of the white to come through, the base color, you can go thinner and then just layer it with another layer of, and I would recommend a sculpting gel that's very clear. Hybrid gels, I haven't tried all the brands, but hybrid gels generally aren't that clear, super clear like gel can be. If you know of one, message me below there. I'd love to know if I get a hands on a really super clear hybrid gel. They're harder to find. It's, I think it's, it's chemical. It's, it's hard to make this product very, very clear. Just the structure of it. Okay, so that's looking really good. I like that. Oh yeah, I like that. And I'm pretty good. I think I'm not gonna go any thinner. I do like the look of it, so I think I'm gonna call it. Just leave it at that. Okay, so I'm gonna get my fine file and I just give it a, a nice smooth around once around with the fine just to make sure. I mean, in the old days, we used to say running your hands through a pair of pantyhose. That's what I would say when I was teaching. And if you get caught up on it, oh, well then it's not as smooth as it wants to be, but nobody wears pantyhose so much anymore. <laughs> You know, I probably should get some just to use that test when I'm teaching. Okay. Okay, let's get the tube so Caraman doesn't go crazy. Oh, let me take my mask off. Oh, before I get ahead of myself, I often do that. I'm just going to remove any little dust, gel, especially top coats. They don't like dust. Nails in general doesn't. I mean, you really couldn't see much, but I'm just making sure there's none there. Okay. So now I'm going to get my top coat. Now I did supply a really great top coat because top coat, well, if you don't have a good top coat, <laughs> it doesn't make your work look very good. Here we go. Get a look at this, Caraman. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ooh. <gasps> Sparkle. I love this design. It's pretty cool. love it. Do you like it? Oh yeah, it's iridescent. I when you move it, think the it sparkles. Is, you know, dances. This always I always never know what I'm trying to say, but it reminds me of there's a shell, is it alabaster? Or an oyster shell? Is that what it Um, yeah. Is there maybe, something yeah. like that that does that? I Mother Tell me in the comments what I'm what what is the word or the thing that I'm looking for, but that's what it looks like to me. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's cure it. Now let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole set. I think I'm going to do one of them 
in a French style too. Take a look. My brain's going crazy with the color combinations we could do here. And if you're interested in any of the products that I use in the video today, their links are all in the description box below. That's my stuff and this alcohol ink and the glitters, absolutely gorgeous. I did do this video about a year ago, this design with the saran wrap. I did two videos, one, oh, you gotta check them out. They're absolutely gorgeous. 